What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a DIY 3D printer that I want to take you guys through. Gearbest contacted us, gearbest.com, and they asked us if we wanted to review something on their site. So I browsed around their site, I found these DIY 3D printers, and I thought I'd put one together and check it out because I know that we could make some pretty cool stuff for some awesome custom PCs in the future. So I hope you all enjoy.
So I hope you all enjoyed that build progress time lapse. I am really enjoying this. I'm not gonna make anything today because I wanna save that for an actual build. So we'll do another video on all of that. About the build progress, I found a few of the actual building processes very hard to follow in the instructions. For example, these little caps up the top, the instructions weren't as clear as to which hole that the screw would go through. However, I finally figured it out at the end when I knew that it was to cap off this rod at the front. So just little things like that in the instructions that made it a harder process, but as you move on through the progress, it makes it a lot easier. I'm also wondering if having the Z-axis motor at the side is going to create some sort of human error within the work. Because say if you have this side lower and this side higher, that might create some sort of parallel discrepancies within the work. However, I have not tested it out yet, so we'll see how that goes. See, with my CNC machine and everything, normally the Z-axis is right in the middle, so it sort of levels out that plane. Another issue that I had with this build is cable management. Now, they did give me some sort of cable raceway thing that I can use to put all of the cables in. However, there are cables coming from every single angle and also, I was going to actually cover them up in the raceway and things like that, but I need to leave some slack in these cables so that when I'm moving up and down and back and forth, there's actually enough slack for the cables to move. I did put a zip tie in down the bottom here, so that could hold all of these up from hitting the base mat. So I have to figure out something here. I might actually try and cable tie that in, but I need to be careful because if this motor moves to the right, then this is going to pull on this limiter switch and that'll probably pull out the wires.
So I had to leave this one loose here. Anyway, guys, I do have an affiliate link down below if you guys were interested. This is not a sponsored video or anything. They did send this out, but it's not paid or anything like that. Personally, I do like the build process. I'm into building things, so I did like the building process. It took me roughly five hours to build the whole thing, and so far, I'm very happy with it. It's all made out of acrylic, so it just clips in together, and basically, it's like a Lego. So I had fun with the building process and I'll definitely recommend this for anyone wanting to get a 3D printer as a first buyer's option. It is a nice cheap set. You can check out all of the other 3D printers on their site as well. Lots of options and variations, guys. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, comment down below, and we'll see you all in the next one.